I'm Miriam Joy and welcome to my outdoor studio. This is where a lot of my inspiration comes from. In this video we're going to be showing you how I do the inside of my gourds and I use spray paint to do that. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is put on my gloves and especially on your left hand if you've got a bracelet or anything on I would recommend removing that at this time and I definitely like the gloves on especially with the black spray paint and I like to use black I think it sets the board off the best and I just buy the cheapest spray paint that I can I usually go to Walmart and buy like the 98 cent uh, spray paint and there's a flat and there is a um, enamel and I don't know why I just prefer the one that is not flat better it's just my personal opinion there is no right or wrong to that and remember this is just the way I do this there's a lot of other ways that you can do it as well this is just how I get it done kind of fast especially with as many chords as I'm always doing or classes that I'm preparing so um, always shake your spray paint really well and in most cases you're about 12 inches away from your gourd but in this case we're not going to do that first thing we're going to do is come in and I would also wear a mask most of the time and on your mask you should make sure that they're in 56 rated I believe that's the rating you want a decent rating. Now this one's a little bit bigger at the bottom, so I'm getting all the bottom first, and then I'm gonna start working up higher. And you can see, I am on the inside of my gourd. I'm not letting the spray paint come out at all. Now I'm gonna also come in here, and I'm gonna get, got the wind blowing things around up here, which is always wonderful living outside. We're going to spray the edges. Now you see I don't pull it past the rim. That is one of the biggest mistakes people make is pulling it past the rim. You do not want to do that. And I'm just taking this all the way around. In any spots that I need to go over and double coat. And the squirrels are playing behind us making lots of noise. And see how nice and even we've got that coated. Now if you need to go back in, like I said, and redo it, you can. If you get any spray over, simply take a damp, this is a magic eraser by Mr. Clean, and I'll do one a little bit here, just kind of so you can see. See all that black right there we kind of got from the spraying it too far? You just come in with this Mr. Clean magic eraser just damp and remove that and you can really have a black or color that you don't want there and it really does remove that very very well so that you can clean that up nice and neat now another thing that i do not do on the edges so i don't pull that out to do that i color this with black acrylic paint i just come back in here and paint that and that's another kind of way to get in trouble is trying to cover this with the spray paint so you don't want to do that you just want to come back with your acrylic paint and brush that on so we're going to do another one here real quick Ooh, that's the fun of live doing these live instead of repeating them now this one has a little bit taller neck so this one's going to be a little bit different so the first thing I'm going to come in here and do is come in here and just put some paint in there because you're not going to be able to really get at an angle or get down in there really well now and then I'm going to come up on the on the edges and I am just going to put that all the way around so that's nice and clean all right and our wind's really picking up here so we're having lots of fun if this was deeper and you couldn't get all the way to the bottom and get that covered as well as you want, take some black acrylic paint, add some water to it. You don't want to make a bunch of it up because you're just going to actually run it around in the bottom of the board until you get that all spread out and you're going to leave it in there. You don't try to pour it out. Just have enough to put in there and shake that bottom. And then again, just uh, paint the top of this with your black acrylic paint 
If you have any questions about this process, please email me at art at miriamjoy.com for my website and any of the products on there visit me at miriamjoy.com and also there's a youtube link we're going to take you over to all these fun little videos which we're trying to do a whole series or a whole bunch more for you and also there's the facebook uh, tab and you don't have to be a member of facebook but i post a new picture there for you daily to kind of inspire you so thank you for joining me in my inspiration or inspiration. <laughs> this is where we always have the fun part. I always have a hard time saying goodbye. I don't know what it is. My inspired little uh, piece of heaven here. Thank you. God bless.